Jerry D. Fresh off the ice, and uh, now you're you're a guy I think that would maybe embrace photo day, media day the most. How much fun do you have with this every year? Why would you say that? I don't <laughs> <laughs> well, you're just a, a fun-loving guy. Hey, you know I got a lively personality, and, you have, you and it, it comes up your here. looks all the time. So yeah, I try. I try. Yeah, you, you were rocking the flow last year. You got it cut short, uh, slim and trim this year. You must be ready for a big season. Yeah, no, I uh, I took this season. I knew it was uh, my contract year, so. Um, I wanted to come out with a with a bang here and and uh, you know start off strong. So I think I, I proved that for for right now. But you know the season hasn't started yet, so I gotta I gotta prove my point there. Bit of a reuniting uh, with an old coach of yours now again. Uh, Join with Steve Spot. We've asked a few guys this already, but uh, you know it is part of this new face of the Marlies moving forward. Uh, what can you tell us about your time in Kitchener with Steve and what the, what the fans can expect? Uh, from his style of play? Uh, well, it was kind of short for me. I mean, I was I was there for two, three months. But uh, from what I got from, from Steve was he's a good coach. I mean, he, he kind of took me and he knew my, my position on things. I came in from the AHL coming into junior, which, you know, was kind of new to me. But uh, just was great with me. I mean, always talked to me kind of. I think that's the thing that we're going to get this year with him. He's always going to bring guys in and, and, and kind of know where they were. Um, I think that was one thing, you know, not to hit Dallas, but... That was one thing you didn't like to communicate a lot with guys and uh, have have meetings and and talk to them how they're doing and and, and uh, you know kind of know your place where you are. Every you coach know, is well, different. Yeah, um, but I think that's one of the good things that you know that's gonna be with uh, Coach Spot here. From what you've seen thus far, uh, you know I know that you know Dallas had a way of doing things as far as systems were concerned. Uh, I think they tried to mirror the Toronto Maple Leafs. Has that been the case thus far here? Or are you doing the same things with Coach Spot as the Toronto Maple Leafs are doing so that when guys get called up, uh, they fit seamlessly into the system of the Maple Leafs? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, obviously every every coach is going to put in their, their own ingredients yep. to, to uh, you know, their system. Like, you know, it's just like pasta sauce, you know, everybody's going to have their own different kind, but it's all going to taste good. Um, but I think with him, like just with like neutral zone, four check, it's all going to kind of mirror the same thing, but just a couple different uh, uh, schemes that we're going to kind of put to our own team, our own strengths that we can we can help out with uh, to make things easier for nothing, us. Nothing beats Mama Domingo's, all right? Oh, no, no. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> Jerry, you can't start talking about lunch. I haven't even had breakfast yet. So. I know. I know. No, I, I got to compare it to what I know best. That's so. right. <laughs> Jerry, uh, you go through, did you change your training routine uh, over the course of this summer, and, and what did you do? Um, I did, actually. It, it was kind of the same same thing. You know, I, I worked out five days a week, but I incorporated a lot more for uh, a double workout during the day. So what I would do, a workout in, in the morning uh, with my trainer, and then after that I would either do a yoga class or a cycling class. So what that did for me, I think it was just kind of made, made my cardio a little bit better. Uh, as you said, you know, I'm a little bit leaner, so it kind of took off that little bit of more fat that I, that I had left over, the, the hibernation weight. You're not uh, wearing yoga pants, are you? No. Then you go, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, though? But it's interesting because I remember your first camp, uh, you know, the year you started here as a 19-year-old. You were 213 pounds at training yeah. camp. You're like a buck 92 right now. Yeah. So as you say, that's, <laughs> that's a big transformation. And, you know, after a 17-goal season last year, I would expect that you're going to think that you're going to be that much quicker, that much, you know, uh, I guess, more durable that way yeah. and you're going to build on that 17 goal year and have a big year here yeah i hope so i mean that's what i kind of strive for to get better every year i don't like to kind of sit back in the passenger seat and, and wait for things to come to me i have to you know